Here are the books that I think I might like to read in March 2021. Hello, welcome back to my channel, Christian Faith and Fiction. My name's Lou, and today I'm, as I said, I'm going to be talking about my March TBR, um, and I thought maybe I would do it at the same time as putting my makeup on because why <laughs> I like to make things difficult for myself. Um, this could go badly wrong. I could end up with a lot of makeup on my books, which would be not good, uh, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, here's my, this is my real skin. Hello, dark circles, orange swatch and eczema. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, um, so in February, I, planned to read um, The Paris Dressmaker by Christy Cameron and I haven't um, I haven't finished it, I haven't started it in fact, um, so I am filming this with a few days to go before the end of February so I don't think I'm going to finish in time, um, in fact I don't think I'm going to have time to start it because I'm still trying to finish Orphan Song by Gillian Bronte Adams. Um, so that's going to be on my TBR for March um, and then I'm s continuing to read hang on a minute um, where is it Risen by uh, the novelization of the film by by Angela Hunt, which I'm reading throughout Lent. So um, I'm only in the beginning of that because I'm just reading a chapter a day-ish. Um, so I'm gonna continue with that one. And then um, I've got the next book in the Chronicles. This is shaking the camera, isn't it? The next book in the Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe which I will be reading and um, doing a vlog on the things that God's speaking to me through um, the book. And uh, Monique on Instagram as the, uh, the ginger librarian, she is also reading that through. So um, if anyone else is planning on reading this one through in March, let me know and we'll find somewhere to chat about it. <laughs> I'm not quite sure where, but um, yeah, I think it's going to be really appropriate in the lead up to Easter, this one, um, with that story. And alongside that, I am reading the appropriate chapters that fit with that book from Finding God in the Land of Narnia and The Heart of the Chronicles of Narnia and uh, another one that's supposed to be coming as well, something like The Family study of the of Narnia, something like that. Um, so, where have I got to with makeup? Under eyes. Um, so I'll be continuing with that series and I have a vlog for the uh, magician's nephew that shall come out soon. Um, I think I'm going to do my recent reads wrap up for February and March in a uh, video together so I won't put that one out yet but I've got a vlog for the magician's nephew that can come out fairly soon I finished reading that one uh, in contemporary books I would like to read all that um, true to you by Becky Wade which has been on my TBR for ages and I know Becky Wade's a really popular um, Christian fiction author and I haven't read anything by her as yet so I have this book so I'm going to try and pick that up throughout the month and then I've got some other books which I might read um, coming out in this month in audio is the second book in the Songkeeper Chronicles by Gillian Bronte Adams and I want to pick that one up soon as I'm just rereading the first one um, I don't want to have to reread it <laughs> for the third time so I, I don't want to leave it too long to pick up the second one that I've 
yeah, I don't want to leave it too long to pick up that second one. Um, but also coming out in audio is um, A Time to Die by Nadine Brandes. Where's my other brush? Um, so that's a series that I'd like to... Excuse me. That's a series that I'd like to pick up as well. Uh, so... I might pick up one of those two. I might alternate them. Or I might go through the whole of the Sonki Chronicles first and then pick up the other one. And then there are a couple of historical books that I could pick up that I'm trying to pick up from books that I already own. So, um, The Gilded, A Gilded Lady by Elizabeth Camden, the second book in the Hope and Glory series. Um, I wanted to continue with that series. I read the first book, The Spice King, and I want to continue with that one. The third book is coming out soon, I think. Um, so I'll try and pick that one up some point. And the other book is A Portrait of Loyalty uh, by Rosanna M. White, which is the third book in the Codebreaker series, which is the last book that I've got to read in that series. And I've enjoyed this series a lot. Uh, so I'm hope maybe one of those two books I might pick up depends on the time I seem to be quite ambitious with my TBRs at the moment um, I've done better at rereading books than I have picking up new books at the moment so we'll see how we get on nearly there let me know down in the comments what you are wanting to read in March um, if you've read any of those books and you can recommend them uh, oh, I can't click um, then let me know as well <laughs> down in the comments um, this is a slightly crazy um, <laughs> Those are the books that I hope to read at some point during the month of March. Okay, I'll see you again sometime. Have a good reading week. Bye.